organic carbonated iced tea. And this week I was supposed to be joined by a lovely young musician named Jolyn, but she came down with strep throat, and I don't want strep throat, so instead I am joined by my lovely wife, Suzanne, who's already been torturing me. This is going to be a lot of fun tonight. Mm. Uh, we will be making... Hello everybody, I'm Chef Ben. This is Dinner with Ben, brought to you by Ashworks Cutting Boards, Atlantic Livestream, and Tea North Organic Carbonated Iced Tea. And this week I was supposed to be joined by a lovely young musician named Jolyn, but she came down with strep throat, and I don't want strep throat, so instead I am joined by my lovely wife, Suzanne, who's already been torturing me. This is going to be a lot of fun tonight. Mm. Uh, we will be making... <laughs> <laughs> broccoli salad with poppy seed dressing uh, spaghetti and meatballs and brownies in the description it says we're gonna be making brownies with a ganache icing but I forgot to list the ingredients for the ganache in the ingredients list so we're not going to make the ganache icing today but we're gonna have some ice cream with it hello Suze thanks for coming <laughs> hello Steve hello Miss Juanita it sues me what you say hello, Suze. Oh, well, I said hello to you. Oh. And then I said hello to the people who are here. Oh, I see. This is going to be Hi, interesting. Ben. I was given some instructions that I'm not very excited about. That I have to actually listen to Ben. So this should be interesting. Yes, it's important. <laughs> uh, okay, first thing we're going to do, Suze, is pop the oven on to 350. So I'll let you do that. Hit the bake button again. Doesn't even know how to use our oven. Perfect. <laughs> lives here. She lives so here. So that answers a lot of people's question about I if I cook at yeah, home it does. or not. <laughs> okay, so we just turned the oven on to 350. We're going to let that heat up for a minute. Uh, what we're going to do is make the tomato sauce first. And while that's cooking, we'll make the meatballs. Should be interesting. And then we'll throw the uh, brownies together and then finish with the salad. So you can see everybody's comments here. See the stove. Steve says hello. Hi, Steve. Okay. So, Suze. Everyone. Are you ready? Yes. I'm as okay. ready as I'm going to be. I need you to mince this onion, please. <laughs> this is me. Oh, you already did it wrong. Shh. No, this is my Shh. job. Shh. I'm scared to tell her what to do because she has a knife in her hand. 
I'm you a, learn. I'm a little afraid of knife her. defense and Krav Maga. So, Suze, I heard that you're a massage therapist. Okay, I can't think about this while I'm doing this. Okay, 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 okay. okay. So I'm trying to keep know, my hand know, like a but, claw. But because you cut all the way through the core, it's not going to oh, work the same way. Oh, that's right, because I was supposed to. Yeah. Ben has so, taught me to leave so the... So what you're going to do is just make your slices all the way through and then turn it and then just try and hold it together. I already made this more difficult. Classic me. This is what happens when you don't listen to the professionals. Just saying. I'm going to be in trouble after this. I can already tell. <laughs> So you're a massage therapist. That's exciting. Yes. What does that entail? Um. <laughs> I'm hot. It's really hard. To, are you sure you don't want to do this and I'll talk? Uh, positive. I'm. Um, Watch that thumb. No. I might be the worst cutter yet on the show. Yeah, you're pretty bad. <laughs> it was high stakes. Watch your fingers. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> I didn't have to hold these together. <laughs> This show is going to be very long, everybody. What do I do when this happens at the end? So, you, so when that happens, first of all, let's get all this off here. You just kind of go one by one. Can you show me again? I no, missed. no, get back to work. <laughs> this is gonna be this is gonna be painful. Pro tip. If you want Ben to just do something for you, you just ask him to show you how to do it. But it didn't work this time. It's like he's getting on to that. I really hope you pick that sigh up in the mic. Well, we got it. Yeah, Perfect. <laughs> Perfect. So how long have you been a massage therapist? Uh, pretty new, actually. I graduated. Uh, my massage therapy diploma in May of last year. So, almost a year. Almost a year. That's exciting. There what, we go. What about that one? <laughs> nope, nope. Well, I gotta do, the, oh, do, that. do that first. Don't bother doing the, the horizontal slice. So, whoa, whoa. So, you gotta keep it together, right? Because. Oh, sorry, I went to like the mincing because it just seemed easier. It's not. Hi, Jack. I'm sorry if I... Just don't, don't hate me after tonight, okay, okay. please. <laughs> he might feel bad for you after tonight. Your dad said you're doing great. Thanks, Dad. Watch your fingertips. Watch your fingertips. I usually put onions in the food processor when I need to chop them up. Hi, Patrick. Hi, Donna. Pro tip. <laughs> Jack said I'm watching. <laughs> yes, but when you put them in the food processor, they're not all the same size and they don't all cook evenly. Not that these are all the same size, but... Go! Oh, okay. What's happening? Yeah. Oh, this way. Yeah. <laughs> she volunteered for this, just for the record. I knew I'd have to do it at some point, so I figured... Let's get it over with. You're doing great. You're doing great. Hello, Marcelie. Marcelie's here. Cool. You going to say hi to your... Oh, my God. <laughs> you didn't almost lose your fingertips? Hi, Marcelie. Sorry if that... Me being, like, cool. I, in my mind, I was thinking, oh, Marcelie can also bear witness to um, our relationship. Taking a nose dive. <laughs> yeah. uh, so I turned the pan, while well, Suze was doing that, I turned the pan on to medium heat and I put about two tablespoons of olive oil in there. So we're going to put the onions in there. Do you want me to take the just, cutting just board or up. just pick them up? Okay. Step one. Check. Good job. Okay, so in the ingredients list, I said whole canned tomatoes. Oh, I did, never mind. I forget what I was about to say. I, I was having trouble finding them. I couldn't remember if I actually found them. So I'm going to get you to open those, Sue's. So I mean, we've done tomato sauce on here a couple of times. It's pretty much the exact same. Um, 
and then we're just going to braise the meatballs right in it. Do we brown them or anything before we braise them? Yeah. In? Yeah, because otherwise would the like fat drip out of the meatballs into the tomato sauce? It's going to anyway. So that's like kind of a, you can dump those in there. That's kind of like an old uh, myth is that like searing the meat actually seals in the juices. It doesn't actually, it just adds flavor. Okay, like the caramelized. Yeah, so I'm gonna need to bust these up. With what? Your hands. Oh. Yeah, I washed my hands earlier. So when you crush these, crush them under the surface. Oh, under the surface. Yeah, so you can grab it, but just pop it under the surface or it's gonna spray everywhere. So this is basically massage therapy. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Don't tell Ben. What? Nothing. Less blood though, usually. <laughs> usually. <laughs> Anything with blood's out of my scope of practice. Oh, thank you, Patrick. Patrick said he loves the new camera angles. Ooh. All right, is that? Crush them. Get them. Oh, like crushed. really crushed? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. We don't want big chunks of tomato in our. To go with our big chunks of onion. <laughs> So with the onion, we want to get a little bit of color on it. We don't want it like, like completely brown, but we do want a little bit of color. Mm -hmm. And you can you can thank Atlantic Livestream for these beautiful camera angles and for the beautiful picture. My phone's vibrating. I don't know what's happening. That's pretty good, Suze. All right. Oh, I should say also uh, in the ingredients list, I. I called for fresh basil leaves. I looked all over the place and could not find fresh basil today. So we're gonna use dried, even though I don't really like dried basil, but that's what we're gonna use because that's what we have. Okay, so they're not quite brown yet, but that's okay. We'll set this aside for now. I'm gonna keep an eye on this and you're gonna start on the meatballs. Okay. So we need to, to dice another onion. But we're going to do something a little different you, with this because... So I leave this part on, right? Yeah, so we're actually going to do something different. Okay. We're going to grate it with a cheese grater because I don't trust your knife skills. The knife skills are okay when I'm on my own, but not when I'm on camera. So we're just, I'm just going to get you to peel that. And then we'll Can just, I take the end off or should I leave uh, it on? I'll leave it so intact it or it's going to fall apart when you try and grate it. I didn't make uh, I was in, we were in Cape Breton doing a pop-up this Saturday. We didn't make it to the market. I haven't been to the market in a while, actually. I feel bad. We had a great time in Cape Breton this weekend. We did. We were at the Claire Stone Inn. On Isle Madame, on Isle which Madame. is really close to where I'm from. And we did a dinner for 60 people. It was a lot of fun. And we uh, joined forces. I was not helping in the kitchen. I helped out with the serving side of things. Um, so that one will, do, do you want me to grate it? It's not the yep. biggest. So Susan's just going to grate the onion. I don't generally like doing this because it sprays onion juice everywhere and it's going to make her cry, but <laughs> we need the onion to be really small. Wait a second. We need the onion to be really small. It's expendable. And uniform, or it's not going to really work in the meatballs. Could you do this in a food processor? You like, could. would this be a little better than, like, for a food processor than the yeah, previous? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Yes, okay. Do you want to show me how you would yeah, do this? Yeah, you're doing a great job. Oh. You're doing exactly what you're supposed to. <laughs> I tried. I tried, guys. I tried. So the onions are starting to brown, Suze, if you can see that. Yep. I'm going to add the uh, tomatoes in here. Now, some tomatoes are wetter than others. These ones are uh, pretty wet. So I'm only going to add a little bit of water pretty much just to clean my bowl. If you have drier tomatoes, you might need to add a little more liquid to kind of loosen it up. How's this going? You're doing great. Oh, my eyes are burning. Are your eyes burning? I'm tougher. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. <laughs> I'm the tougher one, the two of us. That's true, actually. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> I can see. <laughs> oh, 
I guess that would be a good thing if anyone has any questions, burning questions they want to ask me about living with Ben. Guess, yeah, about how great I am. <laughs> oh my eyes. <laughs> Do you want to closely inspect if those are? Get out, get out of here. <laughs> Stop trying to burn my eyes. <laughs> this was a bad idea, everybody. That's good. That's enough there. So we'll just clean all that onion off of there. Oh, it looks like so little onion compared to like when you grate cheese and it like it's all like looks like a nice big pile of cheese after. Yeah. So that's what the onion looks like. I'm gonna pick out some of these giant pieces. Uh -huh. uh, and you just throw that in there. Okay. So next thing, Suze, I need you to chop up a couple cloves of garlic. So we're gonna do two cloves of garlic. Okay. Let's see if I remember. No, you did it wrong. Oh, no, you didn't. You did it right. <laughs> uh, how do you make sure that the next time you grate cheese, it will not taste like onion? Uh, Good question. <laughs> I haven't really had that happen, even though you just, Well, because it's a stainless steel box grater. So as long as you wash it well, it's not going to taste like onion. Um, yeah, I, don't, I, I, I think just wash it really well, probably, would be my guess. Is there ever any, like, so for the cutting board, um, any cleaning stuff to get the taste of onion out? That no. would actually be a good question. Like, um, or like vinegar or something I mean, people maybe, might find surprising. I don't, I don't. You just use soap and... That might be a, a Donna and Steve question. I don't really think so. So, I got my fingers all like that. Yeah, the only thing is you crush it before you peel it and the peel comes off much easier. Uh, okay, that makes yeah. sense. But small detail, it's still kind of like at least didn't. And then holding up against and just like rocking it back and forth. Oh, there are, yeah, Donna has a good point. There are onion boards, like this garlic smash board that is specifically for garlic. So you just use a different board and then you don't have to worry about it. Mm. And use these little tiny cutting boards at ashworks.ca uh, or at ashworks at the market. Because sometimes I notice that will happen, that you'll have like garlic on the board and then like just wipe it off instead of really giving it a good wash and then your cheese will taste like garlic, which is kind of like a delicious accident. But Who, Yeah, Donna just says soap and hot water and that's kind of what I was thinking too. I'm, I'm leave, losing my form for this a little bit. As long as you don't lose your fingers. Yeah, they're really important with my line of work, so. So, you say that, but part of what Suze does is actually ashiatsu massage. Yes. What's ashiatsu you massage, <laughs> Suze? You sound like, um, like a guy trying to be in an interview show. Well, I'm just trying to no. think of questions to ask you because you're my wife and I know everything there is to know about you, so it's hard for everything. me to. Everything. Oh, like 90%. Um, ashiatsu massage, uh, a lot of people find it sounds like a little like, oh, what? that sounds a little weird, basically. Um, but basically, it's the same as regular massage therapy. Um, it's covered by insurance. Um, the only difference is instead of using your hands to apply pressure, um, use your feet. So, But you it's not like, you're not like literally standing on people generally. No. Um, so it's a special room that uh, bars have been built that have been built by engineers. Um, and then just a regular massage table. The person lies on the table like they would for a massage. And then you just um, have stools to get up on the table and there's the bars overhead. You hold onto the bars and you just use your feet on the person. Um, the people don't see your feet. Um, and the thing most people say that I hear the most, and you had one, so you can probably attest to, is that you wouldn't know that it was feet, other than that yeah. they can use a deeper pressure, um, and that it's more of like a broad contact. Yeah, and it, and that's it. It's it's uh, yeah, it's a more broad pressure than than my mm -hmm. hands. That's what I would say about it. What, what happened to that? Well, this is. Do you use these bits? Yeah, you can chop that up. Okay. I usually just throw we them are, away. We are on a time limit here. You don't want me to cut my finger. So how's this? That's good. That's do you perfect. Wanna no, no, do no, that's it perfect. That guys, is the perfect, it's perfect. Size. He's not just saying that because well, of dad. Don't do that. Oh. oh, what are you doing? Oh, this side? No. Don't ever scrape the board. 
Because oh. um, A, you're going to scrape the board, and B, you're going to dull my knife. Just, you can go like that. <laughs> you wonder why your knives get dull. Yeah. <laughs> now you get to Don't see. ever do that. Just lift it up. Please. And thank you. And thank you. Um, where am I going? Oh, where am I going with this? Oh, whoa, that was almost a disaster. Okay. Okay. So we need to add some seasoning in here. So if you want to put a big pinch of salt, a big pinch of pepper, you want to put a bit of sugar in there too. Big then, pinch of salt? Yeah. You got about a tablespoon of sugar because these are pretty uh, acidic tomatoes. How much pepper? I, I like a lot of pepper. That's good. What did you think when you... I, so I've been doing ashiatsu basically since I graduated. I went right away to Ottawa and got training. Um, but Ben actually didn't try one until just a couple weeks ago. So. Yeah. What what were you expecting it to be like? And then Why what did it end up being like? Since when do I get asked the questions? <laughs> what is this? Uh, uh, well, it's weird for me too because you're my wife, obviously. Okay. Um, but it and you don't actually like uh, disclaimer too is Ben doesn't like massage. Not really. Which? Um, <laughs> what? No, it's just not my thing. Uh, Benjamin Kelly, nice to meet you. Big weirdo. Wound um, up real tight. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but what I like so for me the first like couple of minutes were kind of weird in all honesty but then like after like I felt I literally fell asleep it, it was really nice mm -hmm. it sounds amazing because there's a lot of, a lot of pressure yeah. right yeah it really yeah. Yeah. and it's uh, um, way easier for me um, so just when I went to massage, like decided to become a massage therapist, I was looking into it and people always say, oh, it's going to be really hard on your body. Um, just you gotta, put it in. You got to work and talk. Uh, it's really hard to do. Yep. So we'll throw it in there with two cloves of garlic and the onion. All of it? And we have just over a pound of ground beef and just over a pound of pork. Whole thing. Yeah. And so it is a lot easier on your body to... Yeah. To do the ashiatsu. So especially if people come in wanting deep pressure, then I'm just like, okay, let's. About a quarter cup to a half cup of grated Parmesan. Mm -hmm. But I do regular hands-on massage as well. It's about 50-50, which makes for like the perfect day. Quarter cup breadcrumbs. These are gluten-free breadcrumbs, which President's Choice has really good gluten-free breadcrumbs. And that's just to help bind everything. And one egg. Now, from so I would I, I, I could never touch strangers. <laughs> like I just could not be a massage therapist. Mm -hmm. Do you find that weird at all? No. No? Not at all. Because you don't you don't really see the like the people, you're just thinking all the muscles and stuff. Right? Mostly, yeah. And I I grew up like I always love like getting a back rub. I'm a touchy feely kind of person. Like I like, I'm always like this on Ben or like yeah. anyone I like yeah, really. It's my, it's my favorite thing. <laughs> um, so I did before becoming a massage therapist. So the before the first time I had a massage, I like heard about it. And I was thinking like, yeah, it would be weird to touch strangers, but um, you get over that really quick in massage school because it just becomes part of your your everyday, and you are just thinking like. Oh, these like rhomboids are full of trigger points and totally those those freaking rhomboids they usually are full of trigger points <laughs> so in here we just we have the two cloves of minced garlic we have one onion uh we have about a pound of ground beef about a pound of ground pork i just put some salt and pepper in there i put a big pinch of chilies in there can i like over mix this no. like or do you want it to be no, really you're good. and i'm gonna chop up some parsley it's not like making cookies no is more my <laughs> I'm chop up some parsley and we'll get that in there can you i can stay over here do you want me to like wash my hands or no it's okay this is just the only thing we need to chop so i might as well just <laughs> might as well just do it again not having uh, uh, cut from, fingers livelihood from this jar it's chili flakes 
Um, should we probably not have the broccoli that we're going to be eating raw right next to the meat that I'm flinging around everywhere? Well, maybe don't fling the meat around everywhere. I just saw like a piece of meat just like fly. You might have to watch that broccoli. I will. Okay. <laughs> there goes my knife. Stress level. <laughs> up and up and up. <laughs> I thought you'd be relaxed. Why did you think that? The person who comforts you the most in the world, right here next to you, me, are, supporting you on television. You are the person who comforts me the most, but you're also the person who drives me the most crazy. <laughs> but in like a good way, in a good way. He needs someone to drive him crazy. That's true. Jack's watching. I know he is. I'm a little scared. <laughs> okay, so we got about a uh, quarter to a half cup of chopped parsley in there too. So we'll mix that up nice and let me just check the recipe, make sure I didn't forget anything. No, that's it. It's weird for, it's so weird for me following the recipes. I find it very odd. It's weird for me following what you tell me to do. I know, I can tell. <laughs> okay, let's make some meatballs. Get this out of the way. All right, what's your best so, meatball technique? Well, what we're gonna do is just take a nice big piece of meat about the size of a golf ball, and then just roll it up. Just roll it up. No, 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 tighter than that. <sighs> we're rolling. Look at that chunk of onion, what is that? You were the one who, mm -hmm. you're the supervisor, so mm -hmm. everything has to pass your inspection. So you, it. you went to, I'm just going to change the subject. You went to uh, <laughs> massage school, but you are also a trained fine artist. Fine artist? Yes. Um, don't really make too much these days, but I'm actually hoping that because I've learned, it's like, how tight this is? That's good. Um, learned a lot about anatomy that eventually I'll make it back into more like life drawing, doing like anatomical drawings, which was what I actually really liked doing in high school. I thought I'd be a medical illustrator. So I kind of ended up finding something that is, I don't find them that different. It's like sculpting. <laughs> you seem really uncomfortable. <laughs> no. <laughs> what do you think, no. Mike? Is this his like most uncomfortable? <laughs> I'm just trying to think. Think of things to ask you. I didn't. I didn't do any like pre-research or anything, which I probably should have done. On like me? Yeah. <laughs> so you have a cat. Is that correct? Yeah. <laughs> Can we pan a Brenda now? <laughs> do so, you love my cat? And, uh, so Mike, who is the guy who provides all this beautiful equipment and makes this look so nice, he brings all this stuff here every Monday. And he has all these big bags and everything. And every time, Brenda just like gets right on top. As soon as he puts a bag down, she's like on it. Just that's her home. And she looks, she looks pretty much asleep right now. She's adorable. <laughs> Hi, Mo. Um, I think they're getting. Are they getting bigger? Yours are getting bigger. Mine are all the same size. Oh, here it is, Brenda. Yours are perfect. Brenda, it's your time to shine. Brenda. Hey, Brenda. She is so like uh, I'm asleep. She's perfect. Oh, no, I'm sleeping on someone else's stuff right now. <laughs> so, Suze, what's the best part about being married to me? <laughs> um, uh, you're very stubborn. That's not. That doesn't. <laughs> no, no, it's gonna become nice. Um, and I'm also good. quite stubborn, and I feel like the two of us together, we kind of force each other to grow. Like a Brenda. Um, and like I've learned most about myself, I feel like. Aw, that's sweet. And I feel like both of us have grown a lot since we've been together. No, I'm literally the same person. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> not that, you know. What's that supposed to mean? It's awesome. Well, we couldn't afford the smokes, probably. I, I did used to smoke, that's true. Um, yeah, so I think that's actually one of the... Um, and you're very, like, you get up and work. Uh, I can kind of fall into, like, I like to nap a lot. And uh, I find just, like, being with someone who's getting up really early in the morning, getting work done, it kind of helps me feel 
a little more motivated to do things. You heard it here, folks. I'm amazing. <laughs> motivator. <laughs> stubborn motivator. Well, we um, and then, like, you know, when I'm frustrated with you, it does help that I come home to a nice meal. But I do actually need to start cooking more at home. That's one. It's like I used to cook when you were working in kitchens. Um, since you've started working for yourself, though, I've pretty much stopped cooking altogether, and I don't want to, like, lose the skill. Um, nice balls, guys. So. Thanks. I get, yeah. I get that a lot <laughs> when I'm making spaghetti meatballs. That's, that's What's your favorite part about being married to me? Um... <laughs> Not massages, apparently. You know, he's starting to, like, accept massages. Yeah. Like, if something hurts really badly. Yeah, usually. What do we do when we have, like, one sad we'll little... Just make some oh, look, we can make, like, one normal size No, one. it'll be too big. We'll just make two small ones. Okay. Should we make them the same size, at least? They are the same size. No, they're not. Oh, that's close enough. Ask the people if they think they're the same size. They're okay. They're okay here. I know that you're going to be upset if I don't do that. <laughs> okay. Meatballs. So is it a, what kind of meatball is it? Mike a said, spicy meatball. There you go. We're making a spicy meatballs. Mike insisted that she say that during the, during the show. So, so we're just going to move the tomato sauce to the back, and we're going to bring this pan up. If anyone's watching and Ben ever asked you to be on the show, uh, practice because it's really hard to talk at the same time. I, I, I find it so weird. Like, it's really easy for me. You've been doing this for like a year. I was joking. Gosh. There's no room for jokes here. How long have we been married? Almost three years. <laughs> Mike, Mike was the... Mike was our photographer, <laughs> right? So uh, almost three years. It'll yeah. be three years on June 4th. That was the right date. Yeah. Yeah, that was the right date. <laughs> I'm going to check the timestamp. Yeah. Um, and we've been together for six years? Six years, yeah. Yeah. Where'd you meet? A uh, friend's house. <laughs> <laughs> um, well, actually, it was kind of like, it's a good story that... Do you want to tell her? Yeah. Um, I grew up uh, with some of my like close friends still as an adult. Um, like They grew up with me at home, so I've known them all my life. And I used to live up north, but I stayed in touch and wanted to be home. I always like hang out with my high school friends. And I always hear stories about this guy that Evan worked with and this, guy. this Ben guy and how much he annoyed Evan. Um, and I just never ended up meeting him. Like, there was a lot of stuff we both, like, should have been at. But for one reason, like, one person wasn't there. The other person wasn't there. Um, until New Year's Eve of the year that we met. 2013, 2012. It was going into 2013. Yeah. yeah. And I lived up north, and he lived in Montreal. And our friend wanted us both to move back home, I think. So they just kept pouring me drinks and leaving me alone in a room with Ben. <laughs> that That's pretty much what happened. <laughs> and then, like, yeah. a couple weeks later, you came and stayed in Montreal with me for a month. Yeah. And then a little while after that, I went and stayed with you yeah. in the Yukon, and we've been together ever since. We weren't supposed to, like, I was taking a year to be single, um, and I was still had a couple months left, and I think Ben was kind of doing the same thing. So we had been talking online, but we were just going to be friends. But yeah. didn't work out that way. Now we're married. With a cat named Brenda. With a cat named Brenda. Yeah. All right, so I got this pan nice and hot. It's a heavy cast iron pan. And now we're going to sear the balls. Would you like to help me, Suze? <laughs> so we'll just place them in there. Let's make meatballs together. I hope that's not a real song. If it is, if it is we'll get shut down. <laughs> Let's make meatballs yeah. together. Copyright. <laughs> Oh, like I can't, I get you. Yeah. It is a jingle of a real song. It's, 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 like it's from uh, All Dogs Go to Heaven. But it's a, it doesn't say, uh, let's make it all together. They will shut us so down. So we have to, like, if we're singing, we have to make, like, off 
Yeah. Like just slightly off. Yeah, pretty much. So how does that work? Do you know how that works? Like, so does it have to be like a different tune, or can it be the same like tune but just different words would be enough? No, it's for, like recording the song. Like, if, if you bit shift it and change the speed, I'll find it. Okay. I don't Mike knows it. all the tricks. Which tricks? <laughs> Sorry, just trying to get some of those dishes done. Mm-hmm. Okay. Actually, that might be my favorite thing about being married to Ben, is that he does a lot of the dishes and cleans the kitchen. Yeah, that's true. Uh, so we're just going to... feel the love. We're just going to sear these meatballs, <laughs> and then once they're seared, we're going to throw them in with that sauce, and then we're going to simmer them for about 20 to 30 minutes until they're cooked through, mm -hmm. and then we're going to eat them with some spaghetti. A spicy meatball. So, while these are cooking, we might as well start on the cake. The brownies. Whoa. The big bowl. We don't need that big bowl. That's just going to be dry. Yep. Can you weeber do a different cloth that I haven't been drying my, like, three hands on? Grab them. You know where they are, right? <laughs> do I? <laughs> I actually went up there. <laughs> We recently changed um, where stuff is in our kitchen, and well, actually, it's been a couple months now, but I still go to the cupboards. Yeah. I don't know if anyone else has had that happen. I feel like years later, I'll be going to that cupboard for the dishcloth. Okay, so Suze, here's what we're gonna do. We have one and a third cup of flour. This is gluten-free flour, so we're gonna put that in there. To that, you're gonna add one cup of cocoa. I don't know where our measuring cups went. So I forget where it was, but there was this psychology study where there was this psychologist who in like 10 second video clips could tell, predict if in 10 years a couple would be together or divorced. What are you looking for? Measuring cups. Here, just use that. So are they in the uh, No, I just left. So we need two. So we need one cup of cocoa? Yeah. Um, what's the, like, cause if I do this, it's going to pour everywhere. So it, is there a... There we go. Yeah. Spoon it in. All these professional tips I'm learning. <laughs> we, t we took a lot of our stuff to Cape Red and I didn't unpack it all, so I don't know where, like, slotted spoons are. Or tongs. Do you want to talk at all about what we did in Cape Breton, other than like that we did a dinner, but uh, like yeah. what kind of what dinner it was? I guess. <laughs> Thanks, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, so we did a pop-up, as we said. Uh, I think a lot of people probably saw the pictures I posted today. Um, yeah, I don't know. We did a five-course Italian-themed dinner. Sold out pretty quickly. Went really well. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> you don't know what else to say? Yeah, I don't. I don't know what <laughs> you guys organized it? Uh, yeah, so I like I did all the food for it. I I like wrote the menu and everything. And then the the owner of the inn kind of sent it out to her mailing list and she sold down a bunch of tickets and then we sold a few more. And they have like a full commercial kitchen, beautiful dining room, and they put us up in the inn in these beautiful rooms. Yeah. They were um, super, super yeah, nice. really nice. And really helpful. And they did something neat that I didn't know you could do. Um, she took the menu and she messaged uh, NSLC, and like they sent it to someone that they have on staff, I guess, That's just by Molly, email, yeah. who paired wines with all the dishes, what they thought would, um, based yeah. on what was in them. Um, and it, there were some nice wines. All Italian wines because it was Italian food. So we're going to put another... Can anyone do that? I, I think don't know. So. Probably. I don't see why What was that? You just put in there? Salt. Just, uh, just a pinch uh, of salt. Are we going to put a little bit of coffee in there? No. Can we? No. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, the five courses were... Roasted parsnip and apple soup with prosciutto. Uh, we did and thyme. Very and thyme. important thyme. 
Did Suze I, pick the time? I, I picked the time. She took three naps while picking. Like, literally went upstairs and took three naps <laughs> while, while doing the time. Uh, we did. Someone asked you to pick time. Say no. What else did we do? The fennel um, and arugula salad with uh, orange. citrus vinaigrette and roasted blood orange. We did butternut, butternut squash, squash ravioli with brown butter and uh, fried sage. Pecans. And or pecans. pecans. We did stuffed beef, stuffed New York strip loin. Uh, we stuffed with basil and mozzarella and then braised in tomato sauce with what? creamy firm polenta. Yeah. And then we did a chocolate Swiss roll for dessert with raspberry meringues. I remembered everything. I would hope that you would. Where are you going? I gotta get sugar. I feel like I'm, I'm just mixing this for like... Can you put two cups of sugar in there, please? Yes, chef. Thank you. So, my friend Evan and I, uh, we've been working together for a very long time. And we insult each other by calling each other chef. Like, usually it's a sign of respect, but with us it's like, you're getting a little too big for your britches, so I'll call you chef. And that's exactly the tone that she just gave me. <laughs> um, is this, did you say one cup or two cups? Two cups. Yeah, it is. Just four cups of sugar. You wake all night, but they'll taste good. Okay, so those are almost ready, and then we'll put them in the sauce. So we also need a teaspoon of baking powder. I don't know where anything is. Oh, my goodness. I don't not see our... They might be there in the... Yeah. We are not prepared for this episode at all. Suze. That's one teaspoon, please. Oh, those sound great. So, <laughs> the measuring spoons? They sound awful. Oh, they're just like ting, ting. So, you should use a knife to level that up so it's actually level. Then I'm going to drop these meatballs in this tomato sauce. Hey, what do you do when this happens? Do it again. That's what. Oh, he actually got a shot of you going in our dishwasher. Cool. Yes, <laughs> I'm making a mess. Hey, you didn't answer the question about what your favorite part about being married was. Oh, didn't I? Uh, there's just so many. There's so many favorite parts. Um, you're very challenging, which I like. You don't just accept what I say, which, though it's frustrating sometimes. Wait, is she's challenging or she challenges you? <laughs> A little bit of both. A little bit of both. Um, I, like, honestly, I, I don't know if I can just pick one thing. You're like my, you're like my favorite person. So. How about Brenda? Brenda's not a person, Suze. Are you sure? I'm positive. <laughs> Brenda is very much a cat. Um, are we doing anything with that oil? Or? Nope. No, we're just going to let this all... Yeah, so we have our meatballs in here. Don't stir them around because you're going to break them up. Oh. Uh, yeah. Well, they're getting real hot. I know, we're going to turn that down. We're going to throw a lid on it. Why aren't we using our little thing so that the thing doesn't get dirty? What is I don't know. It's already dirty. It doesn't matter. Okay, what's in here, Suze? This is the best thing, people. Uh, okay. Oh, what's in there? Yeah. Uh, baking powder was the last thing. Okay. So we need to melt a cup of butter. Baking powder. So you want to put a cup of butter in there, please? What's the best way to melt butter, chef? On a stove in a pot, Suze. <laughs> Or a microwave. I think this is going to be actually the worst episode. If you have a microwave. No, that's good. It's good. I like it. Here, I'm going to get enough. Okay. Like a hot knife through butter. Because it was a hot knife and it went through the butter. She's not impressed. That's, that's another thing. You do not impress easily. 
which I totally love. Definitely my favorite thing. Okay, so we're just gonna melt that butter. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna mix it in here. We're gonna add some vanilla. We're gonna add a couple of eggs. And then we're gonna, you know. Oh, I messed this up already. That's okay. Are we're you just, nervous? No, I'm just, you know, I don't really like baking. We're supposed to blend the sugar and the eggs, but. Oh, yeah. We're just gonna mix this in. And then we'll add the butter. Don't do what I'm doing. Well, this is not uh, proper baking technique. Shouldn't the only reason that there's brownies... Have, like, it wouldn't have been too late to turn back. We could have it's mixed okay. all the liquids. The, the only reason that we're making and brownies then... is because I thought that there was going to be a 15-year-old girl on the show and she wanted to make brownies. Yeah. So now she's going to have to think of something different. Just mix um, them up. Just but, mix like, up. when you no, get no, to no, this point, fine. shouldn't it's you okay. have... No, 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 it's okay. Because we should have creamed the butter and or the eggs and the sugar. It, yeah. It's not the... But it is um, generally like when you're adding liquids, right? You don't want to like over mix. So you want to mix all the liquids and then all the... But those aren't liquids. Oh, I'm not eggs. supposed to challenge you on the, the show. Just, just mix it. Just mix it. <laughs> See, look at that. Now I'm going to add That's some vanilla delicious. in there. He is nervous because his wife is in the kitchen. I do not think that I love my wife very much, but I do not think that she should be on every week, Steve. I'm sorry. <laughs> I said that this could be a thing. I don't think you want to be on every week either. So one and a half teaspoons of vanilla. Yeah. Approximately. Oh, jeez. Wow. This is one and a half teaspoons, Mike. It was perfect. This Sorry. is exactly like when he adds like, okay. butter, salt, see, and cream. See, this is contagious. You started questioning me. Now Mike's questioning me. <laughs> what, is, what is going on? Remember this weekend when Evan and I could like gain up and make fun of you? Yeah, it was so that much was fun. That was good. Those were good memories. Time of my life. You loved it. Time of my life. Why is this difficult? Because we messed it up. We messed it up. You're the one adding I, everything in there. I'm just like, a, you could like hand something to me right now and like you hand me the broccoli and be like, put this in and I'd just be like, okay. You would put, you would actually put broccoli in there? That it's, says way more about you than it does me. It's surprisingly hard to like focus when you know that you're on camera and you're not used to it. You're going to need that once you get all that. Can I just do this with my hands? Yeah, I don't care. Well, yeah, yeah, go for it. But I thought like you're not supposed to like over mix. Well, this is gluten free flour, so it doesn't really. Oh, matter. so it's like no rules apply. Yeah, because there's no gluten in it. With regular flour, you don't want to over mix it because you'll overdevelop the gluten and then it'll get tough. Note to those of you at home. Um, but here it doesn't matter. Yeah. Don't do what we did. Don't do what we did. People at home. So if you're doing this at home, you want to mix your flour, baking powder, and salt in a bowl. And you want to melt the butter in a pan, remove from the heat, stir in the cocoa, blend in the sugar, eggs, and vanilla, and then mix it all together. I wasn't listening. I'm sorry. Well, I wasn't talking to you. I was talking to them. <laughs> so we really messed this up, but that's okay. I feel like it's still going to taste good. And like you said, gluten-free flour, so. Yeah. Now we just need to wait for this butter to melt. Can we peek at these? No. Yeah, okay. Look, we don't block the camera though. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> <laughs> just beautiful. See, there you are. Look at the things. This, this um, works. Oh, my posture is not that great. Yeah, for a massage therapist, you'd think you'd have better posture. I mean, it's only your profession. Kathy said, I find your wife is very pretty. She apparently looks like her aunt. <laughs> Kathy is her aunt, just for the record. <laughs> Butter's almost melted, and then we can mix that in there, and then we can be done with these stupid brownies. Okay, we actually need to grease this up, so we might as well do that. So, if you want to... Grease that up. Yeah. Make sure you grease the sides and the corners too, please. 
I think I'm an Christine amateur. says she likes your apron. Thanks, Christine. Oh, no, thanks, Christine. There we go. Just looking at the wrong camera. You were, were you looking at the computer? No, I was looking at the, ah. uh, yeah, which is a little trickier. Butter's going crazy. Is there like a suggested amount of no, pan that's greasing? That's good. Okay, you can set that aside. Oh, should we take the, oh, yeah, that's right. It's a. Okay. I was panicking because the plastic whisk, but I forgot that it's like a silicone. Oh. We can't both. You want to do yeah, this? we can. We're married. <laughs> so, we went on a trip once. Um, we went to to Portugal. And we did these things called workaways, where you go to somebody's house and they put you to work for a few hours a day, and they you stay at their house and they feed you. And one of the things we had to do was fix a ceiling fan. <laughs> uh, like we had to weld it together. We had to do all the stuff to it, and it was. Up until this point, it was probably the hardest thing that we had to do together. <laughs> this, I think, tops that. Really? I no, I'm, I'm not joking. fine. That was, that was bad. That was really That bad. is like, that was like a turning point of like, well, I guess we have to get married now because we made it through that. Yeah. <laughs> this whiskey's not doing, these look terrible. Eh, what do you, I don't think it looks that bad. We're going to fix. Things are going crazy. <laughs> I didn't get any of your stuff, did I? No. Mike? No, no, you're good. Okay. Okay, let's. Maybe. Sorry. You're going to have to buy new shoes. I guess I should just leave this butter hanging out in here, right? Okay. Or. He's mad at it now. I think we really messed these up. Stop saying we. We're a team. We're married. Yeah. See, it works, works both ways. I think it could also be the gluten-free flowers part of it, too. And So did you up. get a gluten-free, like, brownie recipe? Or are you just using a regular recipe? I'm just using recipe regular adding, recipe. Yeah, that generally is. A... Well, it's one-to-one -one flour. It should... This yeah. looks so but gross. usually things I think are better if you. Just oh my them. God, guys, we we really did a number. It on looks this. like really gritty. Yeah, this is not what it's supposed to look like. It's like sandpaper. It smells like chocolate though. Brenda, supper. <laughs> chocolate bad for cats. Yeah. Real yeah. bad. Yeah, we think she had chocolate once, and then she like threw up for two days. It was scary. I can't even imagine what it's like for people with kids when they're like, where you're like, because we were like, all right, do we like take her to the vet or is this just like normal? Like where you draw the line on Let me see. what? Yeah, at least kids can talk to you though. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I mean, when she was that sick, she like, she was like meowing at me and I went to pick her up and she like howled. Broke my heart, but we had some like uh, pain meds for her, so we mm -hmm. gave them to her. Now you guys are just hearing about our our cat. We knew this is where this was yeah. gonna go. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna pop these in the oven for about 25 minutes, I think. 30 30 minutes. I don't think they're gonna work out, but we'll see. I think we should have my dad on the show. Sure, if your dad wants to come on the show. Dad, do you want to come on also, the show? Also, what do you mean we? This is. What do you mean we should have your dad on it's the show? show now. <laughs> Yeah. Ben's out. Sue's is in. Yeah. Got cut from my own show. Sue's and Spouse weekly cooking show. No. No. Don't even get your name in there. Okay, now we get to make broccoli salad. And then we get to eat. And then we get for this to be over. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, apparently, oh, Jack and Barb have gluten-free flour. <laughs> Patrick, are you talking about um, Dad being on the show? I think that would be just as good as your sister's. Probably. <laughs> okay. That was a good one. We have some broccoli here. I'm going to wash I'm this I'm going to wash my hands because oh, I feel broccoli. like I just have like raw egg on them. So we're going to make what's known as a broccoli salad here, and we're going to use pretty much the whole head of broccoli. Um, 
I really like broccoli, and I hope you do too. I just ate the salad this weekend, and it, it was, was it delicious. was different though because we're not doing it we're quite doing the same. a thicker. Yeah. So we're gonna take about an inch off the bottom of the stems first. Just an inch. Yeah. Can I do them all at once? Yep. Oh no, the answer nope. is no. Okay. I'm really just tempted to throw these at you. What? Nothing. What? Okay. What happened? Nothing's happening. Okay, you could separate the rest of the stem from the florets. I hope this is what you wanted. Yep. Yeah, that's good. Okay, so we're actually going to peel these guys. Just, you don't have to take it all off. It's really kind of hard to peel, actually. I think gonna, you're going to, yeah. I'm <laughs> just going to cut it off. So you just want to cut down until you get to kind of the lighter part. I don't know if you can see this. So you cut off the dark, and then it's lighter. The darker stuff is really fibrous, and it's not great to eat. Oh, so that's what you would be kind of like peeling off. Yep. So is this just compost? Yeah. And I'm going to try that. Mike, you want to try a broccoli stem that's been yeah, peeled? Yeah, I do. So I'm going to get you to do the rest of these. Dad says not sure if the viewing public is ready for that. Fair enough. And Kathy asks if Jillian's going to be on next week. And we're hoping to get Jillian on, but we don't know It won't uh, be next when week, though, because Emma You have someone else week. on. Yeah. Um, yeah, it'll just depend on her getting a ride into the city and yeah. like what's going on with her. Is the schedule so? You were supposed to do this, but then you marked, so I'm doing it now. That's how you do it. So I'm just slicing this up really nice and thin, and then we're throwing it in in this bowl. And since while I'm doing this, do you want to start breaking apart those florets? Just like with my hands. Yeah, or you can grab like a paring knife or something. Well, no, because we don't want the stems that big. Oh, uh, okay. So we'll kind of cut those in there. And even this, we can kind of cut in half a little bit. So when you're cutting broccoli, don't cut from the top, cut from the bottom. If you cut through the stem, you're not going to get little pieces of broccoli everywhere. So if you have something like this, instead of cutting here, just cut there. And you don't have to cut all the way through. You can just kind of pull it apart, and then you don't get broccoli all over the place. Magic. And so like this, you just do a little one. Do you believe in magic, Mike? <laughs> magic Mike. Oh, there you go. Oh. Suze, do you believe in magic? Yep. Yeah. That's not the answer I expected. Um, I'm trying to think of like something really like that you're like, say? no, like that you're like the magic in my life or something. Aw. I don't know. Aw. Too slow. <laughs> My finger still has, like, from all the time that I picked this weekend, my fingernail turned, like, green-brown. I've washed my hands many times. I'm never going to hear the end of this. And it's still that color. I'm never going to hear the end of this time. <laughs> so, for, just, just for clarity, Evan and I worked for 11 hours straight. We did like a hundred things between the two of us. Sue's picked one bunch of time and took three naps. <laughs> and she didn't do the time consecutively. She took naps in between it. I think naps are just And I'm never downs. going to hear the end of it. These were my days off. You interrupted her naps. Yeah. Uh, it is the same for cauliflower. Yeah, cauliflower is exactly the same. Um, yeah. Also, who went and got all the coffee? You did go get the coffee, that's true. And who made sure you drank Gatorades? You. Like every 10 minutes you tell me to drink water or Gatorade. <laughs> it's true. 
Super helpful or annoying? Uh, a little from column A, a little from column B. <laughs> helpful because I needed to drink water and Gatorade, but annoying because I don't like being told what to do. As you're fully aware. Interesting. Interesting. You want to ask me like where I work? Oh, where do you work? <laughs> I work at Sore Spots Massage Therapy Where's that? in Dartmouth. It's in the big glass building across from the Sportsplex. Is there a website? Can people book on it? There is a website, and they can book online. Um, and like I said, I do regular hands-on massage. What's the website? Oh, um, sorespots.com or .ca? Is it .ca or .com? I think it's .com. Um, I do regular um, like hands-on massage or ashiatsu, and both of them are covered by your insurance. So if you have any benefits with like Blue Cross or Great West Life. Do you guys take walk-ins? Um, generally no, like sometimes, like, it, yeah, I wouldn't say that because then if someone tried to walk in, like, they probably wouldn't get in. I know, like, I, I, sometimes... I know, I know that you don't take walk-ins. I was prompting you to say that you have to book oh. ahead. Instead, I got into this yes. deep philosophical, well, if you happen to walk in at the right time, yeah. we wouldn't say no. But, yeah, you usually have to book ahead and come in a little early to, like, fill out a little health intake form. Now, is there any tips that you can give people, like, like to prevent like getting a sore wrist while you're working on a computer, or to like prevent your neck from getting sore, or anything like that? Um, biggest thing is just to uh, like make time to move around. Whatever you do, um, take breaks, switch it up a little bit. Um, so, you know, if you're doing desk work. Um, a big thing now is like standing desk, but just standing in a standing desk isn't necessarily the greatest either. So like alternating between sitting and standing is really good. How often should you alternate? Uh, just depends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I have, um, so when you start yeah. to get sore, alternate? Yeah, probably before you start to get sore would be a good, what am I doing here? I don't, I don't like know. Like what's the best way to tackle this guy? Just like cut him in half. Same thing, yeah. yeah. He's kind of big though. Um, um, Did we go to the gourmet coffee shop or the national number two chain? We, we, we single-handedly supported the gourmet coffee shop. They were very For nice. For two days. Um, I don't know what the national number two chain is, so I'm guessing we didn't Tim's, go there. Probably. Tim's oh. Or something like that. What's the national number two chain, Dad? Jeanette Matthews was asking today where you work. Says oh, Kathy. okay. Well, you can well, tell there's spots. spots right across from the sports from um. the Sportsplex. From the Zatzman Sportsplex. Oh, yeah, that's right. It's no longer going to be a Dermot Sportsplex. Zatzman. Zatzman Sportsplex. Um, okay, we broccoli. Another thing, I guess, for people would be um, to try to make sure, like, if they have a computer monitor that it's kind of in line with their so something I like to do when I'm working on my laptop is to actually or if I'm just watching something is to put it on a box so that I don't have my head bent down um, so looking at eye level a little pro tip so I'm trying to figure out what I need some space here are you, say, are you saying you want a divorce no that's not what I'm saying <laughs> That that happened quick. I, I I just meant space on the stove. <laughs> Your dad's already in his truck on his way here. Oh, Robbins. Excuse me. So Can we're just we gonna like, complain about things on air. Is Robin's I mean, gonna like sue us for I think you defamation can complain about if Robbins. we. Uh... I don't care. What do you have to say about Robbins? How do they still exist? <laughs> yeah, that's. So I'm just gonna get this pan nice and hot and we're gonna toast our almonds, but in the meantime, you can throw these guys in there. Take that knife out, probably. Hmm, that adds excitement. All of them? It's too yep. late now. We're going to... Uh, All these? No, we're gonna toast no. those. But you can peel this. With this? Yeah. Oh, no, 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 no. Huh? no. So we'll you weren't paying attention? Cut the top and the bottom off. Mm -hmm. And then we'll... Oh, like big peels. Well, I don't want the peel. I want the orange. Oh, I see. I thought you were going for zest or something, maybe. I have the hiccups. Should I drink before try, the show? Try not to get so much orange off. 
Oh, all these demands. Well, we don't want to waste all the orange. Do you want to talk to it or something while I focus? No, on I it? just want to really focus in on what you're doing so that everybody at home is really focusing in on it just to put a little bit more pressure on you. You're a jerk. And it's not even really the people that are watching now. It's the hundreds and hundreds that are going to watch later. That's really the... <laughs> Please don't stab me. Whoa. <laughs> Things escalate <laughs> quickly. and <laughs> Divorces, <good>. stabs. <coughs> That's good. Now Ben's choking. I'm choking on broccoli. Okay, so now we're going to do... Get this out of the way? Yeah, and I'm going to get you to use the paring knife for this. And I want you to watch this real quick. You're going to cut, so you see these white lines here? Mm -hmm. You're going to cut inside and just down on an angle. And then you're just going to pop that segment out. And we're going to leave those little uh, membranes in there. So oh, then, so we don't have to like chew through them? Yeah, so then all we get is these tasty oranges. And then when you're done with this, you're going to have just like kind of all these... Like a uh, star? Yeah, and you can just squeeze that and squeeze the juice right in there. Okay. Yes, chef. Thank you. Thank you, wife. Okay. Okay, what do I do when this is not clearly delineated? Just, you can see it. It goes right there. But then... It's like a yeah, so fork just, in a road. Well, it, it's, so just cut. Wait, which one do you want me to follow? I'm just going to have to do this right now. This is why you don't cook, because I just get frustrated. <laughs> Gwen says, we are too funny. Thank you, Gwen. <laughs> so, pan's really hot, almonds in. My friend Evan burnt... Two pans of nuts this weekend, which was super fun. Remember that, Suze? Mm -hmm. Remember when Evan burnt all those nuts? Yeah, remember that time you had to make a whole new cake? No, don't don't talk about that. Don't talk about what I messed up. So I think actually that's like the biggest thing. A, I found out that standing in one spot with your head down is really tiring. And I don't know why anyone would want to be a cook or a chef. But kudos to those that can. Hot. Um but that a lot of it is like cooking professionally is that things go wrong and you have to be able to just kind of think on your feet and that that like to me that's like the biggest part about cooking is it's not it's not about being perfect it's just about being able to correct your mistakes because mm -hmm. like things always go wrong not and like you burn these almonds they're not burnt they're toasted get don't don't they're fine they're fine um <laughs> You messed up my train of thought. I, I, was, I had a really important thing to say. You messed it up. Uh, what was I saying? <laughs> no, what was I saying? I'm I serious. don't know what you were saying. Was anyone Recovering listening? from your mistakes. Right. So, like, cooking is really about being kind of fluid. It, it, ingredients aren't all the same. What? I'm being serious. No, no like, I just sprayed orange juice. One tomato does not taste like another tomato, so you need to be able to adjust the seasoning, you know, if you open a can of tomato that's really sweet, you're not going to want to add sugar into your sauce. But if you open a can that's acidic, you do. If something goes wrong, fix it. Don't just end it there, right? That, to me, is the important part of cooking. So we're going to get you to mince half of this onion. What is a mince? It's can kind you of really demonstrate no, how you would I do can't. it correctly? You can do it. I'm, I'm, I'm confident that you are capable. Can you actually, though, so we don't just like... So cut the top off. Yes. Now lay it flat. You cut it down the middle through the root. Like this? Yeah. And now set one of those aside because we don't need it. You can set it aside for me. I'm trying, but you oh, are taking it on my hands. Uh, now peel that guy. How much do you appreciate that I came onto your show? I appreciate it very much. Early dementia? What? What's he talking about? What which, we which one of us? Was that when you forgot what you were talking about? Oh, probably. Uh, okay, so Suze, what we're going to do, watch mm -hmm. out, hold your hand flat, 
you don't have to put any force on the knife. Just pull it back and forth in a little bit of forward motion. Okay. So do that all the way up like four or five times. Oh yeah, no force. Totally being forceful. Yeah, and you don't need to push the onion down. Just hold it in place. Okay, 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 okay. No, I'm doing it. Okay, okay. <laughs> While you're doing that, I'm going to uh, zest some orange into some mayonnaise. So I have about a half cup of mayonnaise here, I believe. Half cup, quarter cup, half cup, quarter cup. Half cup. Then. Nope. No, no, no. Okay. This, these. Yeah. And what do you do with the big hunk on the top? What do you mean? So That's you just. Thick part. So you just. No, no, no. This like so because I couldn't get as close. That's fine. That's fine. That's yeah. what I was asking. Yeah, I wasn't asking. So I'm gonna grate uh, the zest of half an orange into here. And then? Yep, yeah, but watch your fingers there. Yep. Mm -hmm. Please don't cut your fingers off. I'm not going to cut my fingers off. How do you know? I don't actually know if I'm not going to cut my fingers off, to be honest. I'm just trying to reassure you. Okay, so half a cup of mayonnaise, zest of half an orange, juice of half an orange. Gonna go, Mike. Can you pass me a lemon, please? That looks really pretty, everybody. Thanks, buddy. So we'll take out these big chunks, but the rest of that can go in that bowl. We're gonna go juice of half a lemon in here as well. All these? Yeah. What else do we need in here? Uh, two tablespoons of honey. Are you excited? Yeah, I'm getting hangry. That's not good for anybody. <laughs> I'm using a fork because I don't have any spoons in my drawer for some reason. Because you did not know the dishwasher before. Why? Well, just shut up. <laughs> Jerk. <laughs> okay. So we'll mix this up. Can you put some salt and pepper in here, please, Suze? Salt and pepper here. Oh, guess I can't. No, don't say that. Yep. All like a lot or Yeah, that's good. But just don't say that thing that you were saying. Uh -oh. Yeah. That's good. Pop some poppy seeds in here. <laughs> oh, we're making a poppy seed dressing. Yeah. Yeah, see, I see. I wonder what the poppy seeds were for. Uh, Janice Townsend says, Hi, Suzanne Cavanaugh Kelly. Tenor. What? Tenor. That's how you pronounce that last name. Oh, sorry. Hi, Janice. I just looked at it very quickly. So we're going to have about a teaspoon of poppy seeds in here. I'm going to mix this up. Now, I was gonna add some canola oil in here, but I don't think we need it. So I'm gonna get you to mix that up, Susan, and then we're just gonna pour that right over there. It's probably healthier without the canola oil, it is. right? It does, like, is it just because canola oil is cheaper that you would want to, or does it add, like, different properties to well, the... Well, it's a neutral flavor. Neutral. Oh, because, yeah, olive oil has its, like... Yeah. Do you think it's good? No? No, I can still see chunks of mayonnaise oh, in there. okay. I gotta say, I really enjoy mayonnaise chunks, Suze. being the voice behind the curtain, like when I'm just over there and you I just get to like yell. laugh or like correct you. And your hand just comes out to get food. Your dad thinks it's going well. Yeah. Thanks, Jack. Do you want to kill That's my good. husband yet, Dad? That's good. You can mix that in there. <laughs> okay, so all of it. Yeah. Yeah. All of it. Whew. I'm getting hungry. Mike, you hungry? Very hungry. Suze is hungry. Fun fact, 
I'm like a eight year old and spaghetti is still my favorite food. I don't think that makes you an eight year old. No. No. Not no. Yeah. I just, I love spaghetti so much. Tilt that salad this way a little bit. Yeah. Oh. I'm also going to love the salad. Not sure about the brownies though, but. Yeah, I'm not sure about the brownies either. But we got ice cream, so who cares? Okay, let's serve some of this up. Well, let's taste it first, actually. You see? Nice. Classic. <laughs> Ben, I don't know, have you mentioned this on the show before? Not on the show, but I did a whole blog post about it. Um, ben loves watching videos, and I, a lot of people do. He's quite popular on YouTube. And he's this guy, and he just eats old, like, military rations. Um, actually, I, th I think he eats, like, newer ones, too, just yeah. from different countries. So he, like, lays them all out, and he, like, he opens everything up, and then he tries it. And if it's good, he'll be like, nice. And then a lot of times it's awful because it's 50 years old and he's like, <coughs> yeah. And so I used to make fun of Ben for watching this. And sure enough, like anything you tease your spouse about watching, they're sitting there watching it. And then you kind of end up like, and I like watching it too. Oh, yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Your lights make my pictures look really nice. <laughs> but I realized that I wasn't taking pictures. So when I was writing all the recipes, I didn't have pictures for them. So I have to start taking all the pictures. Mm. Broccoli salad. It's delicious. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I like the orange in there. Mm-hmm. Especially then, this time of year, I feel like it's just like... Every once in a while you get that little pop of cranberry with that onion, too. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, past the water's boiling. I'm going to take a venture to guess that these meatballs are Dunsville. Very cooked. Um, this salad would be like a really good meal salad if you just add like a protein with it. Yeah. Like like I feel you like you're some, getting... You threw some chicken in there? Mm -hmm. Like it's going to be filling. Yeah. All right. So these are done. You can tell they're very, very firm. They're hot, but they're very, very firm. Mm -hmm. So those are done. We're going to take those off the heat. We're going to cook up some pasta. You want but, me to put in? Sure. The pot isn't quite big enough, um, but the, we're using the big pot for meatballs. So We're on team, don't break the pasta, right? Yeah, don't break the pasta. Breaking pasta is for chumps. Because part, like, part of the fun of eating pasta is getting those long strands. And I think it's people who don't want to deal with that. You just let it cook for a minute and keep kind of stirring it. Yeah, I'm going to jump back into the salad. Does anybody have any questions? No? Happy? Mm-hmm. I'm just happy this is almost over. <laughs> I was talking about our relationship. Whoa. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what did I do? Oh, it's funny, um, when we were at the Clarestone Inn, like, Ben and Evan especially, but I like to get into it as well, it's just like relentless teasing each other. And yeah. I think the people got quite a kick out of it. See, people think that I'm the jerk in the relationship, <laughs> but she's the one constantly telling me she's ending it and <laughs> she's leaving me, she's taking Brenda. Brenda. Nobody, nobody is taking Brenda. <laughs> We're auctioning Brenda off on the show. She just ends up inside one of Mike's I'm bags. I'm gonna get home one day. She's gonna be like in my bag. <laughs> okay, this She's got expensive tastes. I feel like she's like, yes, I want to lay on a couple thousand dollars worth of equipment. I really messed up on this pasta. We shouldn't have done this. It, it would have been fine had I not mentioned. It. Well, I wouldn't have put the whole box in. Uh -huh. But. It's going to be okay. Yeah. Cookie son of a bee. 
So it turns out that this episode, the most things have gone wrong on it seems. Thanks, Sue. Did you burn anything yet? That's I'm true. trying to do something. Ben, you have to help me. I had a good idea. Oh my up. god, what are you doing? I was trying to flip it so the other side would be in, but there's like no going back now. 911. <laughs> Why? Why would you do that? I was getting creative, problem solving. Oh my god, this just got way worse. I just need my salad now. This this is very much how you do not cook pasta. Like very much the exact thing you're not supposed to do. It's also how you don't cook brownies. No, the brownies actually look really good. Oh nice. They smell delicious too. Oh my god, we completely destroyed this. We might be eating meatball subs instead of spaghetti and meatballs. Hmm. I can't tell which. Oh, we're on that. If there's no red Thanks, light. Thanks, Steve. What do you say? Oh, he just said, uh, Suzanne, it's great, I think, or something like that. Um, Marilyn says this is her first time watching, and she's loving it. And she was wondering where you went to culinary school. I can answer that. Sure. You went to culinary school at the school of hard knocks. Um, he started working in kitchens, like, as a high school job when he was, what? 14? 15. 15. Um, and then worked his way up. And so to get your red seal in culinary, you can either like go to school and then have so many hours on the job. Do an apprenticeship. Yeah. Do an apprenticeship and then write an exam. And there's like different combinations of that, like less school, more hours. Um, or if you have what, like over 8,000 hours, a lot it was, of it was hours. More than that. It was like 13,000. A lot of hours you can challenge the exam and write it. Um, the thing is, like, you still, you basically have to put yourself through everything you would learn in culinary school, like, textbook wise. Um, so that's what he did. He goes right there. So I didn't go to culinary school. Mm -hmm. But, like, you read everything that you would need to read. Yeah. And you've worked with enough chefs that. And I've read school. Mm hmm. Someone says, just kidding, but I don't know what it was about. Steve shared a link, but I don't know what it was. Mm. I feel like a bunch of people looked at it. I'm really excited for this. Oh, it's spaghetti. Yeah, also, we should probably start grating Parmesan cheese right now. <laughs> Suze would literally put an entire block of Parmesan cheese on pasta. But she also, she likes the, the ghetto parm, like a uh, craft parm. Don't, you'll break them uh, up. Oh, okay. I'm just trying to. Which I like, I, I like both kinds of parm. I like the real parm, but I like how That's I okay. have like That's a okay, shaped container. Mesh. We'll have her on some other time. I mean, this, this has been really difficult for me. Really? Because oh. you seem like you're pretty comfortable <laughs> in front of the camera. I feel like I'm way more comfortable than you are this mm -hmm. whole time. Like, not in front of the camera necessarily, but... Like, some people you expect to be really good in front of the camera, mm -hmm. and then they get in front of the camera, and they're just, like, shut down or do weird voices. Name no names. Not gonna, not going to name anybody. And then some people you don't expect to do very well do really well like you. Because so you, you know, but only because you, you don't expect me to do very well. <laughs> only because you didn't do very well. What do you mean? No, I was reading a comment. I'm sorry. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> only because you didn't think you were going to do well because you kept saying that you were nervous and stuff. I didn't say I was nervous. I said I didn't want to do this. <laughs> Same thing. I feel like I've kind of basically been on the show because I'm oh, usually Steve talking said, in the background. Steve said I went to school in Switzerland. Oh. I'm a, was that a picture of like the Swedish chef? Is that what? Is that what that was? That link? Probably. Steve and Donna and I are going on a tour of a cheese factory tomorrow. That's exciting. Maybe I'll join too if I'm not busy at work. 
We're going at 10.30. Probably not going to go. <laughs> oh, brownies. So, they look a lot better than I thought they were going to. Are we done with these bowls? Um... Or do we not like clean up until the... We don't clean up. Well, you can get them out of the way. I don't know where to put them. So I'm just going to check these guys. This is a bad idea. That's a They're bad done. Idea. The brownies are done. I can tell because the knife is clean. So now it's just waiting on this pasta. And then we can feed our bellies. More. <laughs> now this gluten-free pasta has a... Like real, like corn aroma. Mm. I really like this salad. It's very good. Mm -hmm. All right, think of some more questions. Burning questions, you have for me. <laughs> mm. Mike, do you have any questions for me? <laughs> Where else do you work? I still work as a server part time. Where? At Ella Greek Taverna. What a coincidence! Mike used to work as a server <laughs> at Ella Greek Taverna. Mm -hmm. Ben used to work as a cook. I used to work Ella. as a cook at Ella Greek Taverna. Downtown. Tiverna. Not at the same time as Susie. No. Susie, do you have any questions for me? Hmm. I've been trying throughout this. Mm -mm. What's your least favorite thing about being married to me? Did you just make oh, that up? Or? Yeah. Um, used to be when you were working like in kitchens that you just were uh, not around ever. Um, probably it's like a double-edged sword. Like my favorite part of my favorite thing is how stubborn you are, but it's also like part of my least favorite thing because sometimes it's annoying. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Steve said, are you going to invite me to your show next week? <laughs> this, this is your show now. Oh, oh, I get it now. <laughs> I don't think so, <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> Where did you guys meet? Oh, you missed that. Um, earlier on, we said uh, we met at a New Year's Eve party. It was a master planned uh, get us together so that we moved back to Nova Scotia and it worked mm -hmm. quite well. Uh, Dartmouth Crossing. Not, not yeah, the, uh, yeah, I work at the Ella Dartmouth Crossing. Uh, just a couple shifts a week. Sue, so like the brownies are done yet. I don't know if I showed them. And they actually look way better than I thought they were going to. Huh? Huh? I'll I eat that. We did a pretty good job. They smell delicious. I'm pretty excited to eat these with some ice cream. But we have to eat our dinner first. Oh, man. Should we take the ice cream out so it gets soft? That's a good idea, Suze. I know how to eat ice cream. <laughs> I might not know how to chop an onion, but I know how to eat ice cream. Gluten-free pasta takes longer than regular pasta to cook. Can I have a brownie? We could mail you some. Patrick, or, oh, Barb. <laughs> yeah, we can mail you a brownie, Barb. Barb, um, actually, I think it's been a couple times in my life. Definitely once when I was in university. Um, Barb cinnamon rolls are, like, one of my favorite things. Yeah, you've told me about them and before. And they mailed me cinnamon rolls, which was really nice. Um, and then recently I had some, like, in the last couple of years, like, when we were living here, but I'm not sure... Those were mailed cinnamon rolls, or if Dad dropped them off. But however they arrived, they were very much appreciated. So. Do you want to chop up some more parsley while I'm doing this? Mm -hmm. Is parsley washed already? Yep.
The moment we've all been waiting for. When I chop something using this like slidey technique? No, the, the pasta. But this you, is happening. You're doing a great job. I'm really proud of you. <laughs> Oh, I'm excited for this. Mike's excited for it. Suze is excited for it. Yep. Very excited. I think last time you made meatballs, you stuffed them with cheese. I did, yeah. I stuffed them with a mozzarella. A spicy meatball. It's not actually a spicy meatball, though. There's, There's a little, a little, bit, little of bit of red chip. A little bit of chili. Hmm. Do you always cook gluten free? Uh, yeah, not by choice. Um, I can't eat wheat. Although, actually, this weekend you had mustard pickles that had some flour in them, and I didn't die. So. You didn't die, but you also drank. Don't, no, oh, we don't have to talk about that. You just had a couple, couple drinks yeah. that might have like somehow. Yeah, <laughs> I just had one drink and. <laughs> And then for some reason, it seemed like we had the longest drive home back from Cape Breton. <laughs> that seems to happen a lot. To, does anyone else have that problem when they go to Cape Breton? That the way back from Cape Breton seems really seems long and longer. tiresome and you seem a little more nauseated for some reason. <laughs> so we'll parsley that. I got it. On it. And then we'll cheese it. Can I put a request for extra cheese? I thought you already did grate some Oh, it went into the meatballs. Ah. But actually, so you don't actually, I said actually a lot, um, cook gluten free. When you go do events, you'll do. Oh, yeah. When I go places, like, I. I don't always cook gluten free. Uh, at the event this weekend, he made a butternut squash pasta. Yeah, it was re made with regular flour pasta. Um, but you just had someone else taste everything along the way. Which can be pictures. challenging. Yeah, because I've, if I can't taste it, then I don't. Like, it's supposed to be my palate. Mish, do you wish you and Jalen were here? My call. Ooh. Ooh. Suze, you that one or this one? Oh, man. Is there like an, um, a t I should know this, an Italian thing to say for like cheers? Uh, mm, like I feel like there is like... Manger, just eat. Isn't that French? No, it's manger. Uh, it's not really a spicy meatball, but it's a hot meatball. <laughs> it's a burning hot meatball? Okay, I'm gonna plate up one of the brownies while you guys are eating, and then we'll shut it down. And then Ben's gonna clean the kitchen while I lay on the couch. Yeah, and then we're <laughs> gonna go to our class. Here we go. This is exciting for everyone to watch, I feel like. You cleaning and me just... Oh, I guess you're plating, not cleaning. Plating. Oh. I like your sense of humor. Mine? Yep. I'm just thinking about how I could have answered questions. What am I, a, a clown? I'm, really I'm here cool. to amuse you? <laughs> Feed me and amuse me. <laughs> Entertainment and a show. Kathy, you should come visit sometime and have supper with us. Feel like we can make that happen? We could make that happen. We have the technology. Mm -hmm. I want your life. You said that. Mish. These are a little too hot to do this, but. Actually, those look really good. Yeah. <laughs> oh, 
So about actually, was it you or was it me at our wedding? Ben's sister made our wedding cake. <laughs> and I think it was me. The first thing after taking a bite of wedding cake was you said, actually, it's good. No, it's actually really it's good. It's actually good. As if you were very surprised that your sister, who's basically a professional baker, made a good tasting cake. Yeah. There we go. His ice cream is over there. Um, so again, we were going to put chocolate ganache ice cream on, or icing on here, but I forgot to list the ingredients in the ingredients list, so we're not doing it, and we wouldn't have had time anyway. So we just have a beautiful brownie with Madagascar vanilla ice cream. We've had our spaghetti and meatballs and our broccoli and orange salad with almonds and all kinds of other stuff. That's the end of the show. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you to Ashworks Cutting Boards, Thank Teen North you, Organic, Carbonated ST, and of course, Atlantic Livestream. Uh, and thank you to my beautiful wife. Thank you for coming. <laughs> thank you for being our guest tonight. It was really hard to make it over here from 10 feet over there. Uh, yes, Barb, ground chicken would work as well. This is a combination of beef and pork. Um, if you're using chicken and you don't want to use pork or anything like that, they might be a bit dry, but it'll still work. Um, that's it. That's all I got. Any upcoming things you want to tell people about? Next week? The Valentine's show. Day is next week. Oh, yeah. Valentine's Day is next so, week. So I think if anyone is interested, A, Ben still has some openings for either dinners or cooking lessons around Valentine's around Day. Around Valentine's Day. Um, and at my work, um, we have a new location in Dartmouth. Um, and so now we offer something we didn't have before, which is we have a really big massage room with two tables in it. So we can do a couple's massage, Aww. which is always kind of a nice idea for Valentine's Day. And it's nice if some people aren't really like comfortable being like alone in a room with a stranger. So you can even go with your partner or bring a friend. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's it. That's all you got? Yep, I think that's everything. Thank you, everybody. We're going to enjoy the spaghetti. Thank you again to all the sponsors. I'll be back next week. My guest is a very good friend of mine, Dr. Emily Kirk. And we're making something with pork. I'll see you then. <laughs> Bye.